everybody. It's time for our first make and take. That's why you're here, right? You want to see new projects using our new products. So our first make and take is a card and it features the custom tea uh, bundle that you can find on page 30 of the occasions catalog. It is a giant stamp set that has 35 stamps and the uh, framelits that coordinate with it are really cool too. Um, I was really intrigued by this stamp set when I saw it. This is very different. Um, we've never had anything quite like this and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. It is really fun the way you can customize the, the shirts, the tank top, and then it has really great sentiments. Now the best part is that over in the celebration catalog, there's another stamp set that coordinates with it called designer tee. So these are some other things that you could stamp on the shirts, but I've also just been using them on regular projects without the t-shirts. They're great sentiments. So as you know, during celebration, when you spend $50, you get something free from this catalog. So if you really like this bundle, it's already $45.75. So add on um, some glue dots or some twine and adhesive and you're there, you're at $50 and you can get the other stamp set for free. Okay, so let's talk about this project. I decided to go masculine with it. Um, as you know, if, if you guys follow me, I, I struggle with masculine cards. So I, so I really try to challenge myself to um, think outside the girl pink box and do some masculine things. And I knew I wanted to try to make a little um, hanger. And I'm gonna show you how to make that too. It's not too hard. All right, so let's get started. Let's do some stamping first. We're gonna stamp the tank top on Tempting Turquoise. And I guess it's not a tank top, it's a sports jersey. I guess that's what we should call it, right? All right, so Tempting Turquoise on Tempting Turquoise cardstock. These stamps only come in photopolymer. That's because they're builder stamps. You need to see where you're stamping. And so photopolymer makes that super simple. All right, now let's do the t-shirt itself in real red, but then I'm gonna use basic black for the other parts of it. These, it's really, the stamps is really interesting. You have to look at all the pieces and see there's like bow ties and pockets and flowers. And these two little stripes, I had to think about them for a minute, but they go on, let's see if I can do this without sticking my head in the camera. They go kind of like this to make, you know, like a sports shirt. I have several shirts that are this, you know, the sporty feel. Oh, I didn't get that one straight, but that's okay. Um, when you do it, you can look right on top and you don't have to worry about your head being in a camera. All right, and then this, I chose the All-Star Champ sentiment. There we go. Okay, so there we have them. Now the framelits, as I told you, coordinate, and I just wanna point them out. They're super cute. You've got one for each of the shirts. Then you've got a sash, like um, you know, like a ribbon. It could say um, bachelorette or you know, winner or whatever. Tie, two different kinds of collars, a flower a pocket, and a bow tie. So we need the jersey and the t-shirt. And this is when your magnetic platform on your Big Shot comes in handy because you want to put these on here and you don't want these little framelits to move when you run it through. So we're going to line those up and then we're going to run it through. That magnetic base on the bottom is a great addition to your Big Shot. If you have a Big Shot and you haven't gotten the magnetic plate, Celebration is a great time to get it because then you can get some free things to go along from the celebration catalog with that purchase. I believe the magnetic platform is 40, so you'd be pretty close to getting a free item. All right, so now let's talk about the hanger, the little mini hanger. I made the hanger, let's look at it again, from a paper clip. And it's not the tiny paper clips, it's the, the larger paper clips. And I have to tell you that it did take a couple of tries. I made several of them and I didn't like them. See, I kept trying. This one was really bad. This one was, now that I look at it, it's fine. These are fine. But you will kind of, it's kind of addicting. You want to uh, start making all these little hangers and then you're overanalyzing them. But don't worry, it's mostly hidden and so it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so you're also going to need a couple of tools. Um, these I got in the jewelry department. I've had these for a while. The jewelry department at the craft store, it just is kind of a, um, a gripper. And then these are wire cutters. You need some wire cutters. So I start with this little um, part at the top. I'm gonna bend that up 
and bend that up. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna stretch that out over here. And we're gonna line these two up, the, the ones that cross. And then you wanna take your little wire bending tool and bend that over. And now this is the part that I just was trying to be too perfect with. I just wanted this little hook part at the top of the hanger to be perfect. And so you just bend that over and then take those wire cutters. Some, some tools I think have both wire cutters and benders. I don't think mine does. And there you have it. Just cut that off. Look, we made a hanger out of a paper clip. I'm sure you have paper clips somewhere in your drawer. Cute, right? I mean, so fun. Okay, so now let's come over here. We're going to stamp the I knew you could, which is from the celebration set, all up and down this white piece with real red. So let me make sure I didn't put my stickers on my stamps. Um, so I have to double check to make sure that I don't have it upside down. So I'm just gonna, whoops, okay, I need to focus, concentrate, I'm talking too much. I don't know about you guys, but when I start talking, I start messing up. All right, so I'm just gonna go kind of random in a random pattern around here, and it looks like I got a little red ink there, so let's cover that up. There. Okay, now we can go ahead and adhere this to our real red card base. Now, when you place an order, if you wanna order from the new catalog, in connection with this workshop, I'm gonna send you the materials for all these make and takes that we do tonight. If you spend a minimum of $30, I'm gonna send you the materials and this will be one of them. And yes, I'll send you a paper clip too. Um, before I put this paper on, I wanna show you this paper. It's perfect, right? It's very sporty, but guess what? It's Valentine paper. This also is from the New Occasions catalog. It's called Sending Love and it's all red and white. And I have been using the heck out of this paper. And so I wanted to point out that it doesn't have to just be Valentine's. The stripe is perfect. I think the polka dot would be really cute on this card. Um, even these little striped scallops would be cute. And I even thought that maybe even the words. It says um, love, love, love all over it, but if you have a sports app who loves sports, wouldn't that, I think that would apply as well. And the polka dot. So think about your paper, you know, think about it outside the box. It doesn't have to just be Valentine's. That one too, those are perfect. It doesn't have to be Valentine's. It's just a good, uh, monochromatic paper that you can use on regular projects. All right, this is a one inch by four and a fourth piece. I'm gonna put right there. And don't forget, I'm gonna post uh, PDFs of these so you'll be able to see everything that I used. Um, if you decide that you wanna order some of these products, the product numbers will be listed right there for you. All right, so I'm gonna just take my glue dots and I'm gonna put a glue dot right under the top part of the tank top and I'm going to just place it on that hanger like that now don't worry it's not gonna that's not all the adhesive I'm going to use I'm also going to use some dimensionals underneath this so I'm gonna put one kind of on top of that to keep it secure I just wanted to get it perfectly placed there dimensionals are my favorite and I think that adding on a pack of dimensionals to this bundle would be a really great idea because you always need dimensionals. All right, so we're just gonna kind of put them a little wonky. I think I'm gonna put it up so that covers that one up because I had a boo-boo there too. You know, boo-boos are just a opportunity to embellish, right? All right, so I knew you could. I think I'm gonna add one more up top. Once you get these on here, you're not quite sure where you're going to need those, but I think I'm gonna add one right there. I like that. All right, so now we need to add a star. This is our silver foil and our medium star punch. And I'm gonna add it with a dimensional right here just to kind of give this card some balance. Let's see, I think I want a little bit over like that. And you know me, there's gotta be a bow. I think a black twine bow is okay, right? For a masculine card, it's not too girly. I just couldn't leave the bow off. This basic black twine is, I use it constantly, and it's only $3 for a bolt of it. So it's a good addition too, when you're trying to bump your order to get a celebration item. And there you have your card. What do you think, guys? Isn't that adorable? 
great for your sports, maybe somebody who makes a team or somebody who wins a championship or even just a congratulatory, congratulatory card for um, somebody that is in your life. Okay, remember, $30 order tonight earns you free make and take materials in the mail. I mail them to you. Hit that $50 mark and you're also getting something free from the celebration catalog, which why wouldn't you? You definitely want to get something for free. Okay, we're going to play another game. I'll be back in a little while. Bye.